In this video, I'll go over what Just Enough Items, or JEI, is and how to use it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So I do mod spotlights like this every week or so. So if you want to see more of those, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you get anything informational from this, go ahead and like down below. And if you have a mod you like me to talk about, go ahead and leave that down in the comments down below. And I will try to get to as many of those as I can. So Just Enough Items doesn't have any items. It's a utility mod. It's got all these things over here that gives you recipes for all sorts of items from, you know, vanilla items to all sorts of modded items and all sorts of how to craft it and machines you can use and all that stuff. So there's a few controls that you can use in your inventory and there's a lot of controls you can use that are like not for your inventory specifically. So when you're looking at your inventory screen, if you mouse over an item and press the R key by default, it'll show you the recipe for that. Um, and if you press the U key, it'll show you the uses for it. So for instance, if I want to see the uses of stone, I click a U on it, and it'll give me all the crafting recipes that use stone. Basically, it's a more versatile version of the recipe book in vanilla. One more control we have is Control O, and that will hide JEI, just in case you don't want to have it cluttering up your inventory space or whatever. Whatever reason you want, I usually keep it open just because it's more convenient for me. So now we're going to go over the controls when you're mousing over stuff in the JEI section. So to get a recipe, you can still press R just like in your inventory. Or you can left click. This will show you all the recipes to craft something. Then if you want the uses, you can press U like in your inventory. Or you can right click. If you want to go to the next page, you can click these arrows up top. Or you can scroll your mouse. Scroll down to go up pages, and up to go down pages. That seems backwards, but basically you're going to the to the right by scrolling down, and to the left by scrolling up, which is the same thing you do on your hotbar when you're scrolling through items. Now, if you want to bookmark a recipe, so for instance, if I want to make that's a bad example. So for instance, if I want to make some polished diorite, and I want to make sure I bookmark this, you can press A while mousing over it, and it'll add it to this bookmark category over here. And if you want to delete it, you can press A, and then it will delete it from your bookmarks. If you left click on this wrench down here, this will give you a bunch of options. You can click this one to go into cheat mode. You can click this one to, if you're a mod pack developer, this is how you would hide some items from JEI for people you're sending your mod pack off to. If you click this one, the, tool, the search bar goes down here instead of on the right hand side. The give mode is if it's set to mouse pickup, and that means if you cheat items in, so let's go ahead and turn cheat mode on, it will pick them up on your cursor. And if it's set to inventory, it will drop them immediately into your inventory. The max overlay width and the max recipe GUI height are basically what size it's going to take up on your screen. And optimized memory usage, I assume, optimizes memory usage. So I don't know why anyone would set that to false, but whatever. And if you go to search options, these are all the kinds of things you can do. So, for instance, if you do the little carrot, you can search for a color. That's disabled by default. If you do the percentage sign, you can search by creative tab. If you do an at, that's a mod name. If you do a dollar sign, that's or dictionary. If you do an ampersand or and sign, that's a resource ID. And if you do a hashtag, that's a tooltip. Another way you can easily switch between cheat mode and normal mode is if you control click on this wrench, that'll automatically set it to and from cheat mode. So when you have the search bar, you can type in whatever you want, right? Hit enter to select your set your search in. And then if I want to go look up stone, I can type that in, look up the recipe for stone. But if I want to go back to the previous recipe, I can click the up arrow. And if I want to go back to the recipe I was looking at, I can click the down arrow. If you right click in when you're in the search bar, it will erase it. And if you press control F, it will focus into the search bar so you can start typing. So when you're in cheat mode, if you left click, you get a stack of an item. If you right click, you get one item. If you drop them onto the list, it will delete them. When you go into hide ingredients mode, if you left click, it will hide the item shown by a red border. But once you go out of hide ingredients mode, you can't see that item anymore. So if you left click, it'll hide an item. If you right click, it'll hide an item. If you control right click, it will hide that item and all subsidiary items, for instance, terracottas. 
And if you control shift left click, it's supposed to hide all the mod items, but I don't see that happening. So I don't know what's up with that. Now this is the 1.12 stuff. A lot of this stuff isn't in 1.16 yet. So let's hop into 1.16 and see what the difference is. Okay, so we're here in my 1.16 spotlight world. Uh, so obviously bookmarks still work. In inventory recipe works. In inventory uses still works. Hiding it with control O still works. Key combinations for that works. Like I said, that works. So pretty much everything works except clicking the wrench doesn't bring up that config window. Shift clicking still does the uh, thing, but now you can only pick up from JEI. You can't have it drop into your inventory. You also can't seem to hide items that I can find. But other than that, pretty much all the functionality of 1.12 is in there, barring a few minor things. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see how to get 5x from your ores for Mechanism, click here. If you want to see what YouTube thinks will be the best video for you, click here. Subscribe right there, and I'll see you next time.